Kids get their own LeBron, Reeboks rocks the roses, and we get a full preview of Jordan's next lifestyle shoe. I am your host, Jacques Slade, and this is Today in Sneaks. If you have been in the sneaker game a few years, you are familiar with the Fruity Pebble theme and the LeBron signature line, such as this LeBron 11 or this LeBron 4, where it started. Nike Basketball is keeping the theme with the LeBron 12 and is going to be a limited GS size. Now, these will cost you $160 when they release on March 11th and are officially called the LeBron 12 Serial. The Adidas SL loop didn't take off the way that I thought it would, but the folks at Adidas Originals are keeping the unique silhouette alive with the SL loop mock. A couple colors have released already, and this olive green looks like it's going to be the next level. The black detailing is a nice touch, as is the mix of leather and canvas on the upper. I really like the laces they used on these as well. These are available now at select retailers for $90. Reebok just introduced the Z Pump. Be sure to check out the video if you haven't already. But another shoe they have on the radar hasn't seen a lot of love on the blogs. It is the Reebok Fury Light, and they just released a Roses Pack. They are basically lightweight runners that you can get in a ton of different colorways. I recently saw John Jones rocking a pair of these in a photo shoot, and to be honest, the best part about these is the price, which is only $75. You can look for all three of these to hit retailers this weekend. Keeping with the lifestyle choices, it looks like Jordan Brand is giving us something besides the future, which is going to be the Jordan Eclipse. As you can tell, the upper is very Roshi Run-like as far as the look and the materials go, and I imagine the first round will launch in a few different colorways just like the Roshi did. I really like the accent on the piping on this pair, and wonder if that's going to be a theme or a key highlight area they use for this design. The outsole looks like it uses the same material as the Flight Runner, but I cannot confirm that just yet. You can look for these to release worldwide in the coming weeks. As for the question of the video, I want to know what sneaker you think has been slept on so far this year. I have a little something planned for next week, and I want to include one of your responses. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. As for what I'm rocking today, it is this shoe, the Reebok Z-Cut Trainer. They actually gave me these at the event this week, and I wanted to give them a try. They seem more, um, basically they seem like they're more for the gym than anything else. Um, I do wish they were a little softer. It's not as much cushioning in these as I hope there would be, but they are, uh, they are pretty nice, and you can grab these right now for like 90 bucks on Reebok.com and several other sites. Anyway, uh, if you haven't already, make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. That way you know whenever something awesome is happening right here on this channel. I am your host, Jacques Slade. This is Today in Sneaks, and as always, I appreciate you. All right, guys, I'll see you soon. Peace. Uh, has in case of storm break seal, which is actually appropriate because it's actually raining today in California. Uh, rain, snow, and at night. And then it has Jay Slade right there, which is actually pretty cool.